Egypt, land of mysteries, mighty pharaohs, and sacred cats who steal cookies. Hello, kids. I'm Professor Jesse Tu, and today we're diving into the heart of the pyramids to discover how these stone giants were really built. No lasers, no UFOs, no magic wands. But first, a little history. Grab your explorer hats. Let's go. Hey, Domino. One of the pyramids were actually built by a team of giant super smart beetles. Or maybe it was a contest between pharaohs to impress Cleopatra with the biggest pyramid. Come on, Domino. Let's go back to ancient Egypt and uncover the real or kind of real story. Today, we're solving the biggest mystery of ancient Egypt. How did they build the pyramids? I have a theory. A super smart army of giant scarab beetles carrying the stones one by one. They lived in cities, wore golden helmets, and held building contests. That's our mission. Prove this theory, or watch it crumble like a nougat pyramid. Ready, Domino? Oh, it's even bigger than I imagined. Look at these engravings. They look like beetles? Domino, you might have triggered a giant scarab trap. entrance open this tunnel. Let's see where it leads. Whoa, what is this place? It looks like a shrine or maybe a meeting room for royal bugs. Look at these carvings, scarabs carrying blocks, climbing ramps. I knew it. We found the secret headquarters of the scarab builders. What if they were the real masterminds behind the pyramids? Hmm. Why would a giant stone beetle raise one leg like that? Domino? What did you... No way. You just activated something. Well, I guess we're going deeper. Wow, what is this place? Looks like a secret chamber. With scarabs everywhere? Wait, there's writing over there. I need to get closer to read what it says. Oh, now I get it. This is where they stored all the scarab builders' helmets ever since their strike began in 2200 BC. But tell me, kids, do you really think this is a true story? Of course not. Come on. Professor Jetsa 2 is going to tell you what scarabs are really all about. Thank you, Ayumi. A scarab strike in 2200 BC? That would shake the pyramids. But in reality, scarabs were very important in ancient Egypt. Not as unionized workers, of course, but as symbols of rebirth, protection, and even power. They were called sacred scarabs, and they had a very special place in Egyptian religion and daily life. All right, kids, now I'm going to tell you how the pyramids were really built, according to scientists, of course. First of all, you should know that the pyramids, like the Great Pyramid of Giza, were built over 4,500 years ago during Egypt's old kingdom. And guess what? No machines, no cranes, and definitely no alien laser beams. The massive stone blocks mostly came from nearby quarries, while some special ones were transported from far away using large wooden boats on the Nile. Then thousands of workers, highly skilled and well-fed craftsmen, pulled the blocks using wooden sledges. To help them slide over the sand, they poured water in front of the sleds to reduce friction. Clever, right? To stack the blocks, they probably built huge ramps made of mud bricks and earth, either straight or spiraling around the pyramid. Each block could weigh several tons, but with ingenuity, time, and a lot of elbow grease, they pulled off one of the greatest feats in architectural history. So no, we don't need striking scarab builders to explain this, even if their version is pretty funny. Thank you, friends for listening to the whole story and to Professor Jetse Tu's awesome explanations. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way, I can keep bringing you more fun adventures with Domino. See you soon.